Is Beringer Brains the same as Platt's? Short answer is yes and no. Yes, in that it ports over 15 of the 16 oscillators from Platt's into Brains, but no, because they're at 96 kilohertz in Brains. No, because there's only 15 of the 16. Um, they've got the car plus strong, they've developed their own algorithm for that. Car plus strong is a mathematical thing. And then there's the additional four oscillators as well. There's the FM drum, the cowbell, the super saw that you've just heard in that intro, and there's toms as well. So I got, actually got in touch with Beringer because I'd seen lots on forums about them not sounding the same. I thought, how can anyone make a clone of Platts without it sounding the same? All the others do. I've got a beehive here from Jack Plug, and that apparently is exactly the same functionality and sound as Platts. So uh, I thought it was a bit odd. So I did get in touch with them once I've gone through it and I'd found a couple of discrepancies and they explained they've ported over 15 of the 16, not all 16. Let's jump straight in. We've got the simple sawtooth. And there I'm adding the number of waves. We've got a sub oscillator. And we can change the harmonics in there as well. Sounds a little bit like sync, doesn't it that? And then, of course, we've got the extra drum oscillators. We've got a cowbell, we've got toms, and we've got an FM drum. Got brightness, texture, and decay time. I'm playing this with a keyboard, but if you put it through the trigger input, do this. You can't use it as a standalone unit. This isn't being controlled by an envelope and isn't going through a VCA, it's just going direct to the output. Actually feels this is a bit like a cutoff and this is like the resonance. I better just check on the sheet, see what it says. Yeah, brightness and texture. Then we've got the toms. Very similar controls to the hi-hat. We've got the tone, we've got the resonance, and we've got the decay. And of course, I'm using the trigger input. These little trim pots here are modulated using the envelope, the internal envelope, so. All very nice. And we've got alternate ones coming out of the left and the right, apparently. Although they do sound pretty similar to me. And then we've got the FM drum as well. And we're definitely getting different things from the left and the right there, aren't we? So that's a really nice little addition as well. 
And car plus strong is an algorithm or it's a, it's a way of making um, an oscillator from a delay line. It's basically a sort of mathematical formula or a mathematical idea. So you have an impulse and then you have a delay line. So one of these can act as the delay time, which changes the frequency a bit like a flanger. Let's just listen to one at a time. And then we've got on this timbre, we've got the impulses. So less impulses. Tune in. And then the morph knob is like the delay or the decay. Beringer have created their own algorithm for that. It's not a copy of the one on the plats or this beehive here. And you can see it's doing a similar sort of thing we've got on this timbre. We've got the amount of impulses. Harmonics changes the frequency. And the morph changes the decay. So, no, not the same. Which is why I was having difficulty trying to match them up when I was going through everything, because everything else <laughs> sounds identical. So when people were saying on the forums, how can it sound different? It can sound different because it's not actually the same algorithm. So I've got the brains in one ear and I've got the beehive plats in the other ear. And there are slight discrepancies as I go through this. It's really difficult to get them matched precisely, particularly due to the really, really small trim pots on the beehive. But also some of this could be down to the Behringer being at 96 kilohertz. I've got a Waldorf Kyra over there and that's at 96 kilohertz. That's really lovely and smooth. Whether I can tell, I don't know whether my ears are good enough, I'm not sure, and whether YouTube is good enough, um, I definitely doubt it, but um, let's have a listen. So that's number one, that's the physical model in waveforms, they sound identical, it's just a bit weird actually because they're slightly different and it's sort of freaking my ears out a little bit. And if there's any doubt whether I should keep the two of them, I'm definitely keeping the two of them. That sounds great, doesn't it? Very, very nice, that. Let's try another one. Not changing any of the settings. Again, really close. This is the FM one, so any slight adjustment could go terribly wrong. Spectacularly close, I suppose, considering it's FM, but I've difficulty getting two identical units to sound the same. Again, that just sounds like I've put a chorus on something, doesn't it? Okay, let's try another. Really difficult to get it bang on. Let's try one more, maybe. Yeah, again, same, slightly out of phase. Pure horror film, that, isn't it? But 
definitely of the same family. But yeah, I couldn't tell them apart. So we try just what I keep on saying, let's just do one more. It's quite good fun. Let's do one more. So there you have it, big revelation. They're not identical, I think everyone knew they weren't identical, but the discrepancies in the sounds that people have discussed, um, I thought I'd just dig into that. So I hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere, and if it was, please think about subscribing, ring the bell, share, maybe join me on my Patreon page, where I've got hours and hours worth of tutorials, helping you to get the most out of your synths. So I will see you next time.